believe I've not like filmed a video like this really in the longest time or even ever. I'm going out tonight. Ooh, ooh. And I thought, you know what would be fun? Is why don't I just take you along with me for like the whole getting ready process? Because I feel like there's like a few products that I want to share. Just kind of, I don't know, like you can save this video for when you're getting ready because I feel like it's probably going to end up being quite a long one. I've literally just got out of the shower, had a shave and all of that, and now I thought this is low-key the like getting ready part of my night. Like from here on out, I'm just getting ready to go out. So that's going to include, I've already fake tanned like a couple of days ago, which by the way, this is a big statement coming from me and I'm going to put you guys on. Um, Danny G on TikTok. I think it's Danny G. Her name's Danny anyway. Yeah, Danny G um, on TikTok. I went to a Lillabelle's event with her and her tan just looked insane. I was like, stop right there. You need to tell me exactly what fake tan that you're using. There's no gatekeeping here. And she was like, buy a bell, hydrating self tan, hyaluronic acid, luxurious scented, rich olive tone, quick drying in ultra dark. And... They're an Irish brand, and the I if anyone knows how to fake tan, it's the Irish. All right. Insane. Literally, the nicest colour. Love the aesthetic as well. And I've just realised, like, I think this is the tan that I will continue to rebuy. I'm always trying new ones. because I've, And I always, like, mix and match, because there's just something I like about one, something I love about another. I always mix. This is everything. I actually might get it in medium because that's the only, that's the one thing that I'm like mixing is I will do medium on my hands um, because I don't want ultra dark hands and tan on my hands, as you guys are fully aware, is where it clings to the most. No matter how much I moisturize, it will always just be the darkest on my hands. But that tan is amazing. By a bell. I haven't really seen anyone talk about it. So can you go and support that brand? I think it's quite a small brand, I'm not sure. But the tan is insane, it's insane. Thank me later. Anyway, so I did that a couple of days ago and I do still like to instant tan my body because tan clings to my legs really nicely, my arms really nicely, just not my chest. Maybe because there's just so much going on. I don't know, so I always like to instant tan. So I'm gonna show you my like body makeup products that I love, but like I said, I just got out of the shower and one thing I do always do when I get out of the shower is moisturize. And this is an amazing moisturiser that I love to wear before I go out because it's got a bit of shimmer in it and it smells like vanilla. <sighs> it's the Fenty Butter Drop Vanilla Drip Whipped Oil Body Cream. Mm. So I'm just going to like lather my body in that. And then while that's soaking in, we can pick an outfit because that's the order, okay? I shower, I moisturise. I'm going to decide my outfit, then I'm going to do my hair, then I'm gonna instant tan, then I'm gonna make a drink, then I'm gonna do my makeup, and then it's time to go. So can you tell why I said this is gonna be like a long, a long ride of a video? And also after I moisturize, I like to do my first like bit of perfume because I feel like it, I don't know, like soaks into the moisturizer. I might be deluded, I don't know. And this is another thing I'm gonna put you on to, okay? I'm like sharing two, okay, well the fake tan is one. Can you not like, I'm scared I'm gonna say these things and you guys might like sell it out and like, can you just give me a chance to replenish myself first before you do that? But the tan is one, okay? Best tan ever. This is amazing. It literally makes you look like you don't need any like body oil. It's like a, like it says, it's a whipped oil body cream. It's so delicious and sexy. Okay, perfumes. I know that this one went viral because it smells like this okay this is from zara it's the red temptation from zara because it smells like this okay and this is amazing don't get me wrong but i took a risk and ordered another perfume i actually ordered a couple of things from zara and just was on the beauty bit and saw this and the description of like the like the undertones of it can't remember exactly but it was reminding me of this and this one is like a bit more sexy nighttime probably a little bit more expensive than the other Mason Francis one and it's the Rose Gourmand 
from Zara. They just said, like, let's just dupe the Mason Francis, shall we? I, like, it, it was such a whim ordering this. And then when I sprayed it, I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Like, it's, yeah, if you like vanillary, oody, like, sexy mm, scents that, like, when you spray it, it's an immediate, like, yeah, this smells, like, rich and luxurious, but, like, a chocolate sweet factory at the same time. This is, I feel like, the next viral one that no one's, like, speaking about. Rose Gourmand. Gourmand from Zara. Amazing. Oh, so what I'm going to do is lather my body in this, like, just on my legs, dry patches, um, and then spray myself with this. I'm going to give that time to like soak into my skin and my body before um, coming back and doing instant tan in a little bit. <sighs> Delicious combination. And by the way, most things I'm going to mention, I say most, I'll do it all if I can. Um, I will try and link them down below. But then I'm also tempted to not because like, if I link them, it makes them easy access and then you guys will get them and then I won't have the chance to get them. I'm joking. I want you guys to have these, okay? I will link them down below. I don't know if you can see that, but that um, moisturiser, not only do I smell like actual heaven, by the way. Can this focus? Please. I'm trying to show you this shimmer. Um, where's the spotlight? Can you see the sparkle? Like, wow. Also, shout out Millie for my new nails. These are my Biab nails, you guys. I've really stuck with it, although I do feel like I might get my acrylics back soon, but at least I know my natural nails underneath. So strong. And we went for a French with more of like a pinky base. Had a little switch around in my bedroom. So, you know, my light. Now I've got like a clothes rail under there, which is where I just kind of plan outfits. And then obviously it even makes more logical sense. Can you see? I put my makeup drawers over there and that's where I get ready. I don't really know why it wasn't that way around anyway, because I was always having to get up from my chair to like come over here to get makeup or anything like that. And hopefully this will make me be more adventurous and reach for other things because it'll be easy access. Anyway, I've lined up a few outfits. I'm really annoyed at myself. I want to be like sexy because the girls I'm going out with tonight are like, I mean, all of my friends are absolutely stunning. But you know what I mean? Like they're going to bring it. I know they're going to bring it. So I also therefore need to bring it and I just can't quite find like the sorry I'm just trying to set my tripod up the like just the right balance of everything and I feel like they all just look really samey like I've worn something similar before but we're going Musu which is this new like Japanese restaurant but it's also like a club but I think they're trying to make it like quite like high end ish so like, it's gonna be a dressy night, I know that much for sure. And then we're going to yours. I love yours. And that's more like R&B, club vibes. Um, ah, so I'm stuck on like what to wear, like what's the vibe? So I'm gonna show you a few options. Of course, I'll tell you where they're from. I think I have one in mind that I think I'm gonna do, but it just requires like a bit of pinning. You know, you just want something to look good and like stay good and that's that. I don't want to have to keep faffing. <sighs> Help me, okay? But let me go through the options. Okay, this is a bit of a rogue choice. And now I'm thinking this does just look like I'm going to Greece. But it's because my friend Poppy, she's wearing like a similar top, but she's wearing trousers and she's wearing it more like beige. So I didn't know if this was like the vibe that we're going for. And just imagine if I've got like the body oil on. But then if we're going to like an R&B club afterwards, <gasps> did I just get a mark on that? Or was that always there? Hopefully that will dry. Yeah, I don't know. It's giving really summery, but then I don't know if I, you know, like winter vibe it with like a, like a woolly, uh, like accessory. Do you know what I mean? It's just like bring it back down to autumn. Yeah, I think that's just like a bit too much i should save this for like grease but it is cute though like okay fashion over okay but what about the top but with cargos but i'm just fucking sick of cargos but if i like the top but then i don't know if that just i don't know the, the girls are girling i would be more like oh 
all my back pocket needs tucking in. I would be like comfortable in this and I could put like layer some gold jewellery on like down here. Oh my god, do you know what? This wasn't even a contender that I'd laid out but then I just thought like I do really like the top. What about shoes? I've got these like brown, like heeled sandals from like Simi. They're from so long ago, but they're, they're my go-to like tan brown shoe because they're pretty comfortable. Ooh, suddenly this could be a vibe. Okay, let's not rule this one out because I do really like the top. Like I said, it's part of a two-piece from Fashion Nova. And the one thing I'm most conscious of is just my arms. So this would make me super comfortable. Okay, this is like one as well. Now this is a bit of a rogue one. And I feel like you have to, you're gonna need to like see, see the vision with this. It's like oh, all in one. Like it's not a skirt and a top, it's a dress. It's from Motel. I just don't think it's like sexy enough, but then it's so hard doing this when you don't have your hair and makeup done, but I just feel like I would just get it covered in crap if I didn't. But this might be like worth revisiting, but I just don't know how I'd have my hair down. Also, please ignore the state of my hair for reasons beyond my control. My hairdresser appointment is literally just been like postponed, postponed, postponed. But hopefully I'm going back in next week, so it's all good. But, um... I don't know how I'd have my hair down. Is it just giving like schoolgirl? I just don't think it's giving enough, but I do think this is really cute. I actually feel like I would wear this like during the day with like some flat boots, a jacket type of thing. It's really cute though. Like I said, it's from um, Motel. Just don't think this is sexy enough. Okay, or we have this dress from Pretty Little Thing, which I think I'm leaning towards. Guys, I'm wearing it with a halter neck bodysuit underneath as like my bra because you literally like can't see it. The way the bodysuit fits is the same fit as like the dress and because they're both black, you can't see it. So the girls are supported. The only thing that's just annoying me is, yeah, this is what I mean. This is the option that just like needs to be pinned a bit. Do you know what I mean? Just needs to be pinned at the back, which isn't a problem. And I wish this was like stuck down a bit. So I might need to pin that too, but I would wear it with my like ego Givenchy dupes. But then I, like, this is what I mean by like, I just feel like I've wear, worn something really similar before. But I think this is definitely the sexiest option. And I just don't know how I'd have my hair. I think I'd have it in a bun, which is like the easier option and less time consuming to do. Let me play around with the pins and like just see if like when I pin it, it looks better and I love it more than having to just stand here and like faff about with it. Okay, so this is when it's like pinned in the right place. I'm feeling this one, but then to have my hair, I feel like when I'm in a halter neck, I always feel like I want to have it up, but maybe like even like half up, half down. No, I think that's like just doing a bit too much. Mm. What is it? Could I make it cute with like two little bits down? I think two little bits down, but I think it all needs to be up. Well, maybe in a ponytail. That's kind of a vibe. Also, I don't know what I've done there. I've like left half my hair out, but it looks like one long ponytail. No, I think it would need to be in a super duper like curly, cute bun, right? With the boots and the jacket just gonna ruin it though. I'm literally talking to you like you're my mate, like my besties with me right now. Like with a boot, it looks cute, right? And then like, imagine it was in a bun. Ah, 
But have I just like done this? Is it like fitted enough? It's giving like a lot of loose fabric. Maybe I, I didn't pin it at the back because I thought actually maybe it doesn't need a pin. But I'm thinking actually maybe it does. I just don't know. This is maybe this is throwing me off. Like maybe it's because I've not got like my makeup on and stuff that I just can't tell. But this is definitely a contender, don't you think? And I guess I would have the same hair with that outfit too, so it's kind of like I've got the green light for like whatever I'm going to do with the hair. I know it's going to go with both the outfits. So it's either a black or a brown number. I feel like I always do black, but this is just a bit more like sexy, I feel like. And probably going to be more of the vibe. I think it's this one. I'm def I think so. I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna have to wait and see till the end. I need to sort my hair out because time is suddenly escaping me. Guys, something like drastic has happened and I've just like took the dress off where I had this bodysuit on and I was like, actually, this bodysuit's kind of giving and I have these like balloony cargos from PLT. I've got some like black little heels on. This like bag from Zara. I thought, let's crack out the like diamante hoops hips because i'm gonna cover myself in like body glow in a minute and like maybe i will do half up half down but like it kind of be like low vibes and just kind of give it more like this vibe and i'll i'll wear a jacket and a coat to wear in musu but i feel like this is the vibe for musu too we're not eating um we're just going when it's like a club because it's like a bit of both but do you know what I mean? I just think I'll be so much more like comfortable like this. Hold neck bodysuits always keep me really supported. And then my hair will like cover my back. And I can like dance in my trousers. Oh my God, guys, I think this is it. And then I'll, I'll wear like a little jacket, obviously. But um, yeah, these, so the bodysuit is PLT. <laughs> I'm gonna everything PLT. The bodysuit's PLT. The cargos are PLT. Do they need an iron? I hope, like, no one cares. Um, I think even the heels are PLT or the ASOS. Okay, heels are ASOS. Um, don't know where these hoops are from, but probably something like, oh my God, look at my hair right now. Probably something like Fashion Over, I can't lie. Um, I don't think I'm gonna belt it. I had, this is like the belt that comes with it, but it just looked weird. Oh my God, okay. I might not do those hoops, but I have got some like big old hoops, you know. I'm in the mood to like, you know, like Cassie, when she just has like that effortless makeup and she's just bronzed and gorgeous with like just a big hoop and like that's the kind of vibe. Don't ask me why, like that's just sprung to mind, but I think this is the vibe that I'm gonna do. Okay, I feel a bit happier now. Time to actually do hair. This also makes what I'm gonna do with my hair therefore very straightforward because it's just tying it back and curling the visible bits and it means no one's gonna see my roots. Hallelujah, people just might see my extensions, but hopefully it's dark and the girls will understand. It's not my fault, okay, it's not my fault. I gotta be very careful, they're so grown out that like, I'm scared I'm gonna catch my hairbrush on them. But okay, this is gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna use the Mark Hill color today because I like the size of this barrel. And it's long, so long for my long hair. So let's just turn that on. Right, just gotta get some hair ties. So two little bits down is what we've said in, this, in it. Just two, why can I just like not get my own hair together? Okay, literally like that much, I think. So let's just clip that there. Okay, let's get this going, about the same. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Let's clip that there. Right, now, just a case of grabbing it all. Can't tell if I want it to be like super slick or like keep it a bit like loose. If I'm gonna be like giving it like messy curls, maybe I won't like gel it back or anything. I'll just keep it looking a bit like bumpy and curly. Less effort for me, I guess, as well. 
and I'm keeping it quite low as well so let's just like tie it there as a, a guide like Yeah, do you know what I mean? My weed is like bending back on itself. I mean, I can't do much about that to be completely honest, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Right, let's just give my hair a little douse of some heat protectant and then I'm just gonna go and like curl all the random bits, do you know what I mean? Which is pretty boring. And I really should apply heat protectant to wet hair, but that wasn't the vibe. I didn't have wet hair. Crunchy ponytail. Oh crap. Pop that there. Okay. So like I said, I'm just gonna use my Mark Hill wand. Give it a quick curl. Fill in any gaps with my L'Oreal touch up. This is in mahogany brown. So good if you've got like similar colour hair to me. Um so I'll be back. I'll show you the finished result because I'm just curling random bits at this point. Okay, this is what we're working with. My like weave and extensions like round the side. <sighs> it's stressing me, but it's fine. I'm just gonna tell myself it's dark. I'm gonna make my face look extra amazing. And I'm just gonna drink so I won't even think about it. Which, speaking of which, is the next thing on the agenda. You've obviously gotta have a little sippage of something while you're getting ready. So, oh, into the darkness. It's time to make a cocky. Okay, a little bit rogue here, but I hadn't realized I had pineapple juice in my fridge. And now I'm thinking I might make a spicy pineapple margarita. Is that a thing? I don't know, but I feel like I'm gonna make it a thing. Anyway, get your cocktail shaker. And if this big lump of ice would just break up, Stevie, don't worry. I'm just gonna take the crushed ice then that's available. Just to make it cold anyway. Okay, ice. I like to use reposado. Did I even say that right? Tequila. I'm just eyeballing this. Sure. Tequila. Cuantro. Two shots um right and also i really like pineapple and lime together so i feel like this will taste good it just might be a bit random let's squeeze some fresh lime that's one half two and let's do one more I hadn't actually realized just how much of a difference it makes to use fresh lime. Just so much better. Okay, so that was two limes, four halves. Oh, drop it in there, sure. Now, my favorite kind of way to add spice is this. It's like green pepper Tabasco sauce. So I'm just gonna add a little bit in there. I know you're probably thinking like you're making it spicy but also really sweet like yeah, I am. Tiny bit of agave because we are going to add the pineapple. Literally just one little squelch. And then pineapple juice because why not? Bit of a random concoction. Also, I'm going to use this glass because I want it to be a big margarita. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of salt. Although I think tahini would be good around the rim. Let's do tahini to add to that. Like, vibe, I don't know. I'm just being really random. I mean, totally random. And I forgot I haven't instant tanned yet. Oops. All right, let's give this a shake. <laughs> let's hope and pray that this tastes good. I think perfect amount <laughs> cheers 
Oh no, guys, that is really good. Take note, that's really fucking nice. Pineapple spicy marg. Mmm. 10 out of 10. Right, time to show you this body makeup in action. Okay, back in the bathroom. So, in terms of instant tan, let me show you some of my absolutely go to favorite products um, to kind of go on the body, just to kind of make my chest area pop a little bit more, add a little bit of color to kind of match what's going on down here. Um, a go-to and like an OG, and it is so good, is the Sally Hansen um, Medium Glow. This says leg makeup and it's water resistant, but obviously like just spray it on the chest and rub it in. I use this brush to rub in literally everything. It's so good. And also don't sleep on this. This is from Beauty Bay, their Future Bronze Body Base in the shade Medium as well. Do you remember when um, Kim Kardashian came out with that like body makeup, I then she got rid of it. This is literally the dupe of that. And it's so good, it blends so nicely. And again, I picked this up from Zara. It is their so Soleil Decade Shimmering Body Oil. And it has a bit of a scent, it's like vanilla-y. And because I really want the chest to pop tonight, I kind of like to mix, like, make a little concoction and buff it in to the bod. So let me just show you. This is me, oh, let's not expose myself. This is me before, you can see my hands are like darker than this, my chest area. I don't know why, it just always is the way. Anyway, quick sip, keep it healthy. And it's time to uh, bronze up. I literally don't even know if you can tell, but this is afterwards. And if you're wondering, Rachel, who does your back? You need to get yourself one of these, okay? I use this whenever I fake tan my back and I just pop a mitt on the top and just like I would actual fake tan, put a dollop of this on and just get my back. Who needs a boyfriend? Um, I haven't actually applied the oil yet because I like this to dry. This does like dry down matte. So I just put my robe back on. By the way, totally recommend if you're like me, love to tan, getting like a towel robe in a dark color. This is from H&M, I think. Um, just means I can get ready in peace and not worry about washing all of my white robes all of the time. But I was just gonna say, if you don't like an oil, these from Amazon are so good. It's like a little tss -tss, and it's like body dust. Because as much as I love that oil and stuff, sometimes it can separate product. But I think I am gonna go with oil later. It's just gonna be like the last thing I apply. Um, if you just like a glow, Obviously I would recommend like just a shimmery bronzer and going over the top of your skin, which is what I do do sometimes while I'm getting ready. But then these are so good. Literally from Amazon, just like a tss, 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 tss. You know? Anyway, right. We've got like 55 minutes to do our makeup, which is actually more than enough time for me. I always think it takes me so long to do my makeup, but it actually doesn't. We're all good. Another sip. But yeah. My favorite part, let's get glam. Okay, I'm struggling on just sort of thinking this makeup is gonna be absolutely no different to what you've already seen a million times before, right? It's 10 past seven. Let's give myself 35 minutes to do this. Um, and my battery's running low, so that's really great. Um, also, the like face tan that I'm using was from the same tanning brand as the fake tan by a bell i think um so good like what a natural color honestly obsessed they've got loads of products um yeah so shout out danny for putting me onto them because i am in love right i feel like my base is probably the one thing i'm like super proud of at the moment like i just seem to be getting it right so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrow, uh, my eyes off camera, just so I can whip that out, get that done, and then come back to the base. Um, because I feel like that's what people just like always want to know how to get looking right, like on a night out, make it last, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and they're gonna be the key products, whereas my eyes are literally the most boring thing. Just make—he's just going to bed. Uh, gonna be the most boring thing ever. 
as per usual. Okay, so the worst has happened. My friends just called me and said, oh, sorry, um, we're actually leaving half an hour earlier than I originally said. So I'm stressed, I've done my eyes, I, I don't know what to do. Like, do I continue filming this video or do I like recreate this makeup look for you tomorrow when I've got time? Because right now I literally like do not have time. Just like my camera is literally like on charge right now. I'm getting stressed. Luckily she only lives downstairs, I don't have to like get to her, but I literally have to do this base in like nine minutes like oh, if i can do this i will die so what i've done is i've applied a l'oreal serum to my skin it's got like hyaluronic acid in it love it so much i applied that before i did my eye makeup ignore my lashes i need to clump them down milk hydro grip is going on okay for foundation what am i gonna wear i think because it's a night out I'm gonna mix NARS Stromboli, oh no, this is NARS Vanua too, and a little bit maybe of like Fenty Drops, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think Fenty Skin Easy Drops in the shade 13 on the skin, just to give it a bit of a glow. I'm really like testing myself here, okay? Like, can I do this? Like, if I can actually do this, I will be so impressed. Sorry, this is like chaotic and I wanted it to be like chill, but this is the reality of it, peeps. And I'm sure, well, actually I kind of hope people haven't been in this situation before because there is no worse feeling whilst you're getting ready than feeling rushed which is literally me right now. So I'm applying with a brush, just to kind of get coverage. Where's my sponge? It's here, let's go over it. Although actually, what I've been really enjoying, and I think it's been what's making my skin look extra good at the moment, and I saw this on TikTok, this girl called Ken's Nation did it, is that she applies her base and instead of applying flawless filter on underneath, she applies it on top. Let me just zoom out. I feel like that was really weird. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow in the shade medium, like shade, I don't know, medium tan. Over the top. And we buff that in. This is Chaos, I can hear Anton Deck's Saturday Night Takeaway in the background, like, fucking hell. Oh my god, I've only got six minutes left. On my timer. The way I want to scream, but I feel like I can do it. The one thing that's going to stress me is um, my eyebrows, because they take a little while. Let's have faith. I'm literally probably not even going to edit this clip. I'm going to keep it real time and just add this clip in to prove that I can do it. Okay, foundation slash base is done. We want to make sure that it's blended. Oh my God, my sponge! Why? Why is this happening to me now? Okay. Cream bronzer, let's not try anything new. Let's go in with doll. Because I know this looks good. Especially along the neck, because we've got that instant tan on. God, I can't even enjoy my margarita. <laughs> She's so annoying for doing this to me. Um, right. Blend that in. Right, let's just really quick clump these lashes down. Okay. Bronzer. Thank God I've done everything first. Blend it all in. Hope you guys 
I've had a fun weekend, whatever you've done, and you're not rushing. Like me, because this is torture. Okay, concealer. Gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way in Almond. Guys, I actually switched it up and used a different concealer because I thought you guys will hate me if I keep using HMB, even though it is the best. Forehead, chin. Yeah! Sorry, I just had to let that out. Also, luckily, I like fed Stevie before I sat down because I'm literally gonna have to like put my clothes on and run out the door. And now I'm like getting ready in silence, but like I said, luckily, Anton Dex. So, what the fuck is that spot and where did it come from? Oh my God. Why is this happening to me? I wasn't even meant to go out tonight and now it's chaos. Fucking hell. Honestly. This is like, I don't wish this upon anyone. Because one thing about me is that I am just like not late and I will like make it work. Like, so I said to her on the phone, I was like, oh no, that's fine. Mm, it's not fine. Oh my God, cream blush, cream brush. Kylie. These cheek tints, don't sleep on them. They're actually fucking bomb. Like, they are so good. And they give, like, dewy... Dewy skin vibes. And I just love this colour. This is, like, pink me up. It's, like, so nice. They're, like, balmy. Powder, um, Huda, cherry pound cake, like under the eye. And then I use the, I like just put that here. Oh my God, that's gonna be there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use Charlotte Tilbury all over the face, like shade two. Big brush, just to like set everything else. Oh my God. Ah! Right, I'm gonna give myself another eight minutes. Let's just dust this all away. I'm gonna pretend I didn't just shove this big brush in my eye. And we will cry about that later. Okay. Pull bronzer. Come on, I'm on the, f I am kind of on the home stretch. I can't lie. Like I could do this. It never takes as long as I think it's going to take. I always said that. Hula. Got it. New Fenty bronzer. Love this. It's in the shade Island Ting. I used this on the eyes as well. I don't even think I got to say, like, what I did on the eyes. This is so chaotic. I could cry. Okay, bronzer. Blusher. I take these two from Colourpop. Um, really pinky one called Hot to Touch. It was part of their, like, Valentine's Day. That's kind of like the main apple of the cheek vibe, like that. And then I go in with this one, which is the like purple lilac one in the shade Cupid's Bow. And I kind of emphasis this like under the eye, but like on top, like so. And then I mix up the color again. I go in with the Pretty Fly Peached on the Beach like shimmery blush and that just fucking seals the whole fucking deal like I use that as my highlighter oh my god fucking speaking of which how could I forget my shimmery bronzer 
just dust this like on the forehead warm up the skin down the chest you guys know the drill oh my god, guys i actually might do this then how does it done crucial step a hyaluronic acid spray we're gonna let that soak oh my gosh I'm gonna highlight my, the inner corner of my eye. I don't even want to tell you what's just happened. Like, <laughs> ah! why is this happening to me? Highlighting the inner corner. Oh, it's a bit too much. And then I'm also just gonna run the bronzer underneath my eyes just to tie it all together just to make my eyes pop oh my god am I gonna do this we shall see I definitely need to like clump with my lashes I'm gonna tight line Maybe actually even put this in my waterline. Okay, like that. Oh my God, oh my God. I feel like I'm looking a little bit too dewy, so I'm gonna cry. A little bit of Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade one under the eyes, just to quickly set me. That's done miracles. Rare Beauty highlighters, oh my God, they're insane. Open it up. Take it just. Here, there, and everywhere. Right, I'm gonna rush to do my brows and get dressed and do a lip. I've got literally three minutes, pray for me. Oh my God, guys, I've done it, I think. I'm still like late for when I was meant to be there. I should have been there like at least five minutes ago. <laughs> but this is the full fit. The hair, the hoops. I think it's cute. Oh my gosh. Steve, I'm gonna love you and leave you on my bed. Oh my gosh. Got my phone. I don't have a coat. But this is the best that it's gonna get. Chaos, I love you guys. I'm gonna leave everything in the description bar down below. This was Chaos, but I really hope you enjoy this kind of concept. And I will do it again if... um. And I won't be rushed is what I'm trying to say. Love you, bye. I might add some clips of the night out to make it worth the while. Cheers. Woo. I'm doing, I'm doing <laughs> a day in the life. Oh my God, you've done it. Okay, cheers. Oh my God. Sorry, I have to finish it. Okay. That was like two. That was two. Wait, can I just get it? Two minutes, two minutes. Okay, wait, yours now. And I actually don't know what's happening. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.